Hello everyone, my name is Dracoman and welcome back to another Redstone video. This is how many subscribers I had in the last video I recorded. I think it actually might have been different, but now this is how many I have, which is insane. You guys are you guys are you guys are so cool. This is this is great. We're moving up so fast. I'm really proud of all of you. And just I'm really I'm very very thankful to all of you. But anyways, these are my socials. Join my Discord server, which is in the description. Obviously, that's the most important thing. But anyways, today we are going to be creating a oh okay so today we are going to be creating the fastest elytra launcher that we can create which is going to be quite exciting and hopefully it actually turns out fast i actually forgot to throw the paper itself in perfect all righty let's go ahead and get into this video and go ahead and start it so first things first, we're obviously going to need some pistons, slime, some redstone stuff, and of course an elytra. Also, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced elytra, but I just pronounce it, I don't know why I pronounce it elytra, because I'm pretty sure in my brain it's pronounced elytra, but I just say elytra, it just comes out more naturally. Anyways, that was a weird side tangent, let's go ahead and start building this. So obviously we want to make this survival friendly, so I think we're going to do something like this, and then, oh wait, no. If we just did this, or better yet, if we did something like this, ah, wait, no, we'd have to, like, branch it out like this. So this will actually be quite an interesting build. So what if we, what would happen if we did something like this, and then stood at this point here? So we just walked forward, stood here, and then pressed this button. Ooh, that actually works beautifully well, except that doesn't launch me anywhere at all. Also, this block here would change to redstone. That way is when we push it up, it actually goes back in. Okay, so let's actually try using the Elytra when we do that. Alright, so if we click this button here... I mean... It got us a decent ways. I'd say we should mark this location. So this is how far we made it with that launcher. And I suppose this video is probably going to be more about how far we can launch it, not necessarily how high we can launch it. Although those do sort of correlate, so I guess we'll just see where this goes. And actually, I think one method of launching that is actually really, really useful, but also somewhat expensive and time-consuming and requires a lot of patience, is just to create a really tall water column. I mean, you can make this like as far, as far up as you can and then get really, really super far with it. Which I suppose we'll have to now that I've mentioned it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go farther than that one we did. And now all we have to do is fill this thing up with kelp. I'm pretty sure that all this seaweed is going to get me to the top. In all likelihood, at least. Now this will be quite the spectacle. Unfortunately, I can't really see the seaweed though. But if we break this... And it's off. We're gonna collect a lot of seaweed when we get to the top. But if we go ahead and put some soul sand right at the bottom, hopefully I have enough bubbles before I reach the top, because this is going to be quite a long ways to travel. Alright, so I do have these, so when I turn back to creative, we can see how far I've traveled. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've traveled, I'll travel probably far enough that I won't even be able to see where it is anymore. But let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, I'm not supposed to use soul soil, am I? <laughs> Rookie mistake. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Okay. Now let's get back to survival. All right, so, oh gosh. If we go in here, it's kind of scary. If we go in here, we should be able to get to the top. It's, it's extremely far away. And see how far we can fly. I mean, I have enough bubbles for this. Oh wait, no, I'm in a bubble column. Oh, pff, I can breathe fine. Yeah, okay, rookie mistake. Oh, look at this. We can see how far we got. Where are we going this time? So this is how much... Oh, okay, so there's three stacks. I'm just chilling, bro. This is great. Alright, trying to stay in a straight line as much as I can. And it looks like we were about to land here. Not sure where I started. But if we started at zero, zero, we just went about... We just went almost 2,000 blocks. That is pretty intense, so I'm pretty sure we go straight back this way. We better find that again. <laughs> okay, I think we're coming up. Oh, here we are. Yes, we can take this off. Oh, I didn't put a pillar over there. It's fine. It's not like we're going to see it anytime soon. We'll just say that the pillar for this one is um a little bit further away. I'm pretty sure this was the Z coordinate for where I landed. 
I should, I mean, you guys can go back through the footage if you want, I guess. I'm not all that particular about it. Just know that, you know, it's around 2,000 blocks. Pretty sure I saw this summer, but if we stack cake like this, then we go up it really fast. Oh. Oh, yes, we can. You have to be very careful coming down. I wonder, how far can we go? Unfortunately, I only ever got to here before I gave up, but I realized that we can actually go straight to sky limit with this one, same as this glass tube, which means we'll actually end up going the same distance as the glass tube flight test went. So this one, I mean, we're still gonna do it, obviously, but we're just gonna mark it the same as that one. Come here, horsey. Oh, I cleared my inventory. Hold on. Let me get some of the light out again. I'm sorry, horse, but this is also, unfortunately, the last time you're going to see the light of day, so enjoy it. It's truly beautiful. All right, here we go. I need to jump off right at the top and then start flying immediately. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Obviously, that was this just practice. Gotta practice running up this cake. Here we go. Okay, not the- Ooh! Ooh! <gasps> He survived! Yes! Obviously, this didn't go that far, but obviously, we, we could have made that much higher. So we'll just have to mark this one as the same as- oopsies, wrong button. I've been playing Minecraft for how many years? Oh gosh. We'll just have to mark this one as the same as the other one there. For the next one I'm going to do, you guys might recognize what I'm actually going to end up doing by the materials in my hands. And if you can't, maybe you can now. Alright, using this setup here, if we stand in the middle of this water that is flowing outwards away from me, if you guys can't tell, and we click this button here, I believe we should see that we go quite a ways with our Elytra here. Might be a little loud at first, but but we'll not quite get as high as we did with that one. So let's up the ante a little bit. Basically all I did was just double stack everything, so if we go ahead and click this button now, a significant more amount of TNT in here. Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Yeah, we just blasted straight past build limit. I, this deserves a video of its own. In which case, we could build this much, much higher and get much, much further. Hello, sir. I think I'm going to save that for an actual different video. So, this here is going to have to wait for later. And we are just going to put another post here that says something quite obvious, I'd say. I can only think of one more way to launch ourselves into the sky, and that is using a ender pearl stasis chamber. Yeah, I think we know where this is going. Way, way up high. I suppose you could say we're not necessarily launching ourselves, so much as, you know, just going up. You see, pistons, they retract at the same time, so when this piston retracts, so does the piston at the very, very top, which means we'll be teleported pretty much instantly. So if we hit this lever here... That was instantaneous. Oh gosh, don't fall. Okay, so, uh, again, we are, if anything, we're one block shorter than this one, so we're pretty much at the same level as that one, which is, in fact, as you all know, build limit, which is 256, seeing as I am in 1.16. And if we go ahead and jump off here, we land right about here. Oh wow, look at that, yep. It's the same as that one. At least from the ones I remember, I think it's quite obvious which one of these is the winner. Yep, that's right. I would say the TNT launcher definitely has much more potential than I have given it. And it can definitely launch me further than any of these can, seeing as any of these can only go up to build limit, unfortunately. So, TNT launcher totally wins this round. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing, because it really does help out a lot. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.